All right, what's up, everyone? Here we are again, getting ready to do some more Pokemon Stadium. Hopefully, everyone's having ahead and get stuff situated here and good to go. Making it through a lot more than usual. I mean, last time we did a. Uh, like, what was it? Three gym leaders. We went ahead and beat Lieutenant Surge. We went and beat Erica. And we beat Koga. So now we've got a few more that we have to do. All right. Making sure everything's good to go. Alrighty. So we should be good to go. I'm going to be trying out. Well, I've been already using this for a while, but if you've been following me over at Instagram. Dot com slash Lee dot Mustang showed off some of the stuff that I've gotten recently. And some of it was a blue retro wireless adapter for the N64 to use Bluetooth controllers, which is kind of neat. And what's even neater is that it works with the Nintendo Switch N64 online controller. So I'm actually kind of excited to be playing this one step closer to, uh, to perfection, uh, actually using an N64 controller. Hmm. That's odd. Did uh let's check the stream status. <clears throat> I guess I didn't know how to dis display what the heck I'm playing. It says there's no live streaming. He didn't say what I was streaming though. Let's uh check some stuff real quick. No, that's already there. So, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that properly. Anywho, let's go ahead and boot up our game. Uh, alrighty. Should update you guys a little bit just because you know i do stuff behind the scenes so if we go ahead and look at our pokedex data because throughout the week i do play the game i do catch pokemon and i do try to get one step closer to completing the pokedex that way we can just focus on story and whatnot not to spend a lot of time in game resetting but you can see there i seen 147 pokemon and i own 147 pokemon Meaning we are getting close to completing this Pokedex. So you might be wondering, what is it that you're missing then? All I'm missing, good old number 125, Electabuzz. And the other two legendary birds. That'll bring us to 150. And then finally, once we capture Mewtwo, we will have all of the Pokemon in the Pokedex. 
Now a sort of co-host of mine will be joining us till a little bit later. My uh my poke coach, I guess you could say. One piece slayer will be joining us a little bit later. So let's see if I can do some of this on my own. I was doing okay in round one. But round two is uh kicking my teeth in. Goal's gonna be at least beating one gym leader. Last time we beat, like I said, we went ahead and defeated Lieutenant Surge, Erica. Koga, and now we're gonna tackle Sabrina. Alright, we do have some registered sets of Pokemon. But always like going through the box and seeing what we have available to us in this moment in time. Alright, so Jolteon's been doing work. Executor's been doing work. Charizard's been doing work. And then recently, we've been having a lot of luck with Gyarados. Tauros has also been doing work, but before we go ahead and add Tauros, we got Alakazam and Tauros. But we do have a new addition that we may or may not use, should the uh, opportunity arise, for Slowbro to make their appearance. So I caught a pretty decent Slowpoke, the only, like, IVs that were bad, or DVs, technically in Gen 1 or DVs, right, 0 to 15. It had some pretty bad speed DVs, but everything else was pretty good, so, I mean, I figured it's gonna be slow anyway, so it's got a moveset of Thunder Wave, Amnesia, Psychic, and Rest, so if I do bring him out, it's probably gonna be to Thunder Wave, then Amnesia, if he's taking too much damage at that point, I'll rest when I wake up, and I start Psychic. Psychic across everything. All right, but we're not bringing this one guy in. Not just yet. All right, we don't need him yet. So Tauros will be the key. All right. Do 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 do. We're fighting the cue ball, and this is a psychic gym, and none of those are psychic types. Alright, it's looking like we're gonna go with... Let's see here. Gyarados can deal with three of them. So Gyarados is definitely gonna come in. Alakazam can deal with some of the other ones. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Tauros, actually. To round it off, because we seem to have a really annoying group right now. That Aerodactyl is going to prove to be annoying. Alright, so I'm going to take a chance starting off with Gyarados. Let's go! Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A decisive victory in Oh, we lucked out. Oh, it's gonna Hyper Beam. No, that's not Hyper Beams. We're gonna do Solar Beam? Oh, it's a crit. I don't think it's gonna... I don't think we're gonna get a chance to figure out what it is. Just realized that the uh, floor for the gym is somewhat transparent, it looks like. see how much it would do. Oh, it's gonna miss anyway. Oh, you've got Hyper Beam, huh? Oh, guess what, buddy? I've got Hyper Beam too, which is actually what I wanted to do. It missed! We're off to a great start. I have to recharge even though it missed. So Hydro Pump missed. Hyper Beam missed. Yeah, it's a hit. 
actually, this is a good time to swap in Alakazam safely. So I'm going to do that. The trainer's changing Pokemon. He's going to have to recharge oh, now. Alakazam! Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? What's this? Oh, it's not going down. Of course, it lives by a sliver. How much does it hurt? Enough. I've got an idea here. Pokemon have taken heavy death. Yes, yeah, so a recharge anyway, which gives me a chance to do this. The side beam will probably be enough to take it down. It's probably going down with a psychic. The battle has become one sided. What will it do? It did not go down. What? But I will be going down. And it's a crit. I did not expect that right on to survive that because my right on would have gone down, I feel like. My right on's pretty well built. Alright, we won our first battle. Now we gotta go up against the burglar. Still not a psychic type in sight. I see through four Pokemon, three, three Pokemon that are weak to water. So Gyarados is definitely coming out again. I feel like it's going to be the same group again. Gyarados, Alakazam, and Tauros. And, uh, One Piece sent <laughs> as a joke, a Discord message saying these three Pokemon for everything and, uh, he might not be wrong. Doo -doo. Oh, it's faster. First turn body slam paralysis? No, thank God. Of course it misses! It misses so much! Another body slam. Please don't paralyze. What's this? There, it's a hit. Body slam. Boom. Wow. Going down. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Oh, it's waving. It has to make up for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that?
It is missing so- like, I feel like it's missing more than it should. I've never seen it miss as much as it's missing now. Oh my god! No way. No way. No one will ever convince me that this game doesn't cheat. I know that it has low accuracy, but it's not that low. It cheated so much. Obviously, Alakazam. Oh, it's Alakazam! The Pokemon are entirely different types. A psychic blast! That's the weak spot. Oh, is it down and out? There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Arcana! The remaining Pokémon stock is 2-1. to one. The tenth battle continues. What now? Special stat is that. Gonna dig. Of course it digs. It's Barrowed Underground! Neither one is conceding an inch. They go into battle poses. It's more resistant to physical blows. Secret attack. There, it's a hit. Both Pokemon look ready for more. What's that? Oh, that was enough to take it down. I was not expecting that. comes the medium psychic and ghost types right one ghost type all right magmar Hundred twenty six attack, hundred forty seven attack. All right, so I'm definitely gonna want a psychic type to come in on this mess to deal with the Gengar, the Golbat, and the Tentacruel, which all can also be taken down by Earthquake. So. Oh, and the Magmar. Yeah, the Magmar can be taken down. The only one that can't be taken down by Earthquake is the Golbat. But then there's also the Lapras there. I had that right on. I mean, Jolteon can take three of them, so I guess Jolteon's a pretty good choice for this one. So, Jolteon, Alakazam, and potentially Tauros. 
All right, here we go. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. <sighs> of course what it's of Magmar. Can we expect to see? Combatants face each other. Hit you, Thunderwave! Oop, it's paralyzed! Flash up the fuse ray! It's confused! They're just trading war flows now. Want Taurus to come out? The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Taurus! Interesting. Oh, it's Megaton! Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? There's the attack! Anchor dead! Neither one is conceding an inch. It can't make a move. What now? It's confused. What a furious hmm. battle. Humor me. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Oh, it's Alakazam! Oh, it did not switch out. Interesting. Oh, a horrible freak! Its defense is down. How will the swap Pokemon fight? What's next? Good hit! Oh, is it down and out? Which Pokemon Good question. is coming out? Here's a Pokemon. The Pokemon are entirely different types. It's more resistant to physical work. What's this? It's confused! Fireworks are flying in this battle. They go into battle poses. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. Swapped out again. The other trainer also changes Pokemon. Oh, it's Rapper! How will this swap affect the outcome? They strike fighting poses. Secret attack. Heavy damage. It's got toxic. Of course it does. Only good thing. Oh, it missed. Oh, toxic. The move I mean, failed. not that it's going to do but much for me right now because I can't move. move. It lives by three. It's got psychic. What now? There, it's a hit. All right, a body, what a body slam. Battle. After I recover from the hyper beam, should be able to take it down. It can't make a move. Oh my god, it's doing so much damage. What that? Neither one is conceding an inch. Body slam! Yeah, it's a hit! And it's down! I 
when that magmar comes out, I'm gonna earthquake the heck out of it. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. And it's a crit. Whoa! That's tough! Gone! It's a one-hit wonder! And there All right, way to go, Tauros. The majority of them are actually psychic types. And they're all annoying psychic types. And psychic types had no real checks back then. <clears throat> I feel like it's going to be Gyarados and Taros for sure. Maybe Gyarados, Tauros, and Charizard. Charizard's got Earthquake. Most Psychic types don't have a whole lot in the defense category, I feel like. I guess that's what the Wigglytuff is for. Gyarados, Tauros. And Charizard. All right, let's see if we have to reset back at the beginning. Ooh, this is actually good. Blizzard. A good old blizzard is coming your way, Executor. Oh, he's got explosion. He's just going to explode. And it's a crit! Of course it is! Of course, it had explosion. He's built just like me. It's more resistant to physical blows. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. The heated battle rages on. They go into battle post. What's that? Of course my special stack goes down. Of course it does. Vigorous attack. Wow, I lost. GG guys, GG. Pokemon look ready for more. That Alakazam just checked me entirely. And it's a crit. Thanks game. I, I really appreciate the cheating. I truly do. Makes it feel so much amazing. So much more amazing when I lose. Knowing that 
You can just give yourself however many crits you want and all of that jazz. It's great. It's real great. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth battle continues. What'll it do? Heavy damage! The reflect saves it. It won. GG. Wow, thanks for wasting my time, game. I really appreciate it. Both Pokemon have taken heavy damage. You led with an executor that had explosion. And it was a crit. Killing my Gyarados. And then you pulled out Alakazam with the reflect. And I'm sure it knows recover. So, uh, yeah, that was the stream. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I don't think we're going to beat that. I love wasting my time having to fight those three gym leaders. I mean, three trainers all over again. All right, so who didn't I use this time? I didn't use Charizard very much at all. Oh, these are the rentals. What am I doing? Maybe it's time to bring in slow bro. I don't know. Since he wants to play it that way. Maybe I should bring in my Electrode and use Explosion right back on one of his stupid Pokemon. to waste my time doing these stupid battles again. Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A decisive victory is expected. Oh, he lived. Cute. Oh, he's got Hyper Beam, too. Super effective and a critical hit. How 
I forgot what I led with here. Mouths fire to fire blast. The heated battle rages on. Of course, it lives by a sliver. Put that on the bingo board. What'll it do? Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm burnt, so my attack goes down neat. We've lost to uh, Sabrina once, by the way. She uh, exploded with an executor and then followed that up with an Alakazam built exactly like mine, basically. Probably gonna die here anyway, so. What now? Hit the oh, never mind. Oh, it's a one hit wonder! There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's mine thing! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. It can't make a move. Oh, uh, okay. What's that? That's a good hit. Oh, it's now. Which Pokemon is coming out? They strike fighting poses. Oh, it's Slowbro! The remaining Pokemon stock is 2 to 1. The combatants are making sparks fly. What's this? It didn't do much damage. It used Thunderwave! Oops, it's paralyzed! Sparks are flying in this heated match! It pumped up in special rating. Of course! First do? turn! Body hit. slam! Paralysis! The intense battle continues! They go into battle poses. What now? Boom! 
What next? A savage hit! The heated battle rages on! The combatants face each other. What's this? Good hit! It's taking a quick rest. Neither one is conceding. The build uh, did not call for that. Like, well, gave me the option of surf or psychic. Fast asleep. What'll it do? Yeah, it's a hit. So I went with psychic, although surf might be just as good. I don't know. to sacrifice amnesia which would make slow bro kind of worthless at least from according to the build the rest allows him to stay in the fray since he's has a pretty good defense and high hp and then he has fairly decent special, so if after one amnesia he can pretty much start doing a, a ton of work. At least from what I understood. But I figured I'd try it out, just cause... Sabrina's gonna be a pain in the ass. Electro, Tauros. I think I picked Alakazam last time. Probably gonna come out with the Magmar again to do the confusion and then swap out to whatever else because that felt like that's all he did last time. Expected. What kind of battle can we expect to see? The commands are issued. Thank you, Thunderway. Oops, it's paralyzed. Super Sonic. The move fails. They're both being cautious here. What's that? There, it's a hit! I also got a licky tongue today. There are a million resets in blue version. It's confused! Neither one is conceding an inch. I wish there was a move deleter in Gen 1. That way I could uh, just make it forget Surf 
and then learn Psychic as necessary. It's gonna know Body Slam, I feel like. What now? Will that spot? Oh no, it knows Toxic instead. Like how the crit did so much damage, but the regular attack did pretty much nothing. Status effect. It comes out once and it does it, and that status effect is gonna come out. That did nothing. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? What will it do? This is over. It's worrisome. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become Well, unsighted. if you are uh, still here, yeah, I'm all ears for oh, how to deal with Sabrina. Now. Slow ala Taros, in my opinion. I don't know who leads. Kinda scared to lead with slow bro. Taros, I guess I'll lead with. Challenge. 
monster faces Sabrina. Executor? Oh, it's not Executor. Try not to get scrambled by psychic attack. Here's the non-psychic type coming out to play again. Here's the first move. There, it's a hit. Gonna do a clean 50. What will the other side do? A decent hit. What a furious battle. What's this? All right, it's downs. So, so far so good. We started off good. What Pokemon will be Alakazam, maybe? No, it's Hypno. Oh, it's Hypno! The Pokemon are entirely different types. What's that? Oh, it missed. What now? Oh, that's a man. The heated battle rages This is my like, fourth body slam. What oh, the second one with a crit. The weak I like a. Oh, oh the game screwed me the first down. time, so I guess it's giving me this one. Ha ha. There's a difference in the number What's coming out? It's got to be Alakazam. Called it. Oh, it's Alakazam. The remaining Pokemon have it's going to be faster than me, I'm pretty sure. The battle has become one side. What's this? Oof. Now I kind of feel like I wish I did Hyper Beam. Oh my god, it just... Everything was a crit this time. Taurus just took everything down because every other hit was a crit. Spelled your wrong. Not the master of grammar, apparently. All right, we're on our way to Blaine now. All right. Alright, Blaine, with your judo boy nerd psychic and yourself. Looking like Eggman over there, skinny Eggman. Nor do I need to be. I am wiping dog poo right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. I am uh, sorry for your loss. Assuming any tomfoolery, I think this team comp is good. Should I swap Charizard? I mean, Charizard has Earthquake. Should Blaine actually have Fire types? They could bring in Slowbro again. If there's any Fire types, then if it tries to Fire attack me, then Slowbro can deal with it, I guess. Gotta love your dog, man. Gotta love your dog. You've got 150 and 172 speed. You've got... You are much slower, so no. I, uh... Can't say that I blame you. Ooh, one of the Game Boys finished charging. Charge. 
All right. We've got Marowak, Needle King. All right, so Needle King, Primeape, and uh, Machamp can all get wrecked. By Alakazam. Gyarados can also do some damage to a few of them. I guess Executor? Or should it's, it's looking like I might just might as well bring in Tauros again. <laughs> said anything I was asking if I should swap out Charizard for uh for slow bro or maybe I should swap out executor for slow bro no not Jolteon I was in a pile of poo. Fair, fair, fair point. Both? I don't, I don't know what both means. So how about both Executor and Charizard? Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Right on's uh... Oh, what a, what a unique looking team we have here right now. I register this team just because it's weird. Select. I forgot B is into cancel here. Weak to water, weak to water. Try something weird. Just want to see how effective it would be. Here comes the first Just because I'm right at the beginning of it. I don't think it's wise to lead with him, but just to see. Ground type, what am I doing? Yeah, this is uh not gonna work. I will just use amnesia and psychic, I guess. Oh, he's got earthquake. And it's a crit. It's another crit, I'm definitely going down. Oh, of course it's another crit. Oh, I lived? What? It wasn't enough to kill it, though. Let me... Yep, sliver. Oh, it's 
Everything is a crit. What the heck is wrong with this Pokemon? How do you like taking a crit? Figured if Taurus comes out and can paralyze something with a body slam, right, and he goes down, then that'll make it a easy swap for Slowpro to come in, rest, and then reset up. This battle is still up in the air. He's gonna die regardless, so. The only thing is that I would have gotten the clean, uh, like, sweeping in kind of deal. But if he's just gonna focus energy, everything, then uh, I don't think I have to worry about anything. Probably gonna have an actual the battle has become one side fighting move. There it goes. For the record, I want it to be known how many times I've used body slam and not a single time have any of these Pokemon gotten uh paralyzed. But the game did it a few times and it's paralyzed me twice so far, I think. Taros is just an absolute monster. I'm almost tempted to uh, pull out that Persian I have and love start leveling it up for next stream. All of those Pokemon, with the exception of Executor, all have weaknesses to Psychic. At least, or just generally low defense that I feel like Psychic or Phalakazam could take them down. He's got explosion. A A savage hit. Wow. Going down. Wow. They're down. They're both down. This is a wild one from the word go. Oh, it's slow 
Cobra. Oh, oh exactly where I would have wanted to this get Tauros out. Fantastic. Types of oh, he also has explosion. Wow, it Major he tanked it like a champ. Wow. I don't think that uh, Gengar has too much in the way of uh, attack power, but I should have been allowed to continue using Thunder Wave here. Oh, he's got Mega Drain, how cute. Fireworks are flying in this battle. The combatants face each other. It's taking a quick rest. What's that? A decent hit. What a furious battle. The commands are issued. It's fast asleep. Paralyzed on the spot. Neither one is conceding an inch. It woke up. What's this? Oh! The intense battle continues. It pumped up its special rating. What'll it do? It's been poisoned! The heated battle rages on! It's taking a quick rest! What now? There, it's a hit! Sparks are flying in this heated match! Fast asleep! What's that? Good hit! Fireworks are flying in this battle! Oh. Now. I forget he doesn't have a whole lot in the way of special defense. What's this? Yeah! It's a hit! What a furious battle! A psychic blast! Wow! That's an effective hit! Wow! Take it down with one hit. I also want to see how effective uh, setting up for Amnesia can be. Although at that point, I think I got the ideal dream where I thunderwaved and he was paralyzed, which gave me the free Amnesia. Slowbro, Starmie, Jinx, Polyrab. There's three Pokemon that are weak to electric. I think is a free Jolteon. I want to say Jolteon, Taros and Rhydon, or Jolteon, Alakazam, and one of the other two. Opponent, 
The gym leader is waiting right after this. Instantly gonna thunder wave because he is going to thunder wave. Oh no, he went with the amnesia first. It popped up in special rating. They're both being cautious. What now? Super effective. What's this? Major damage! The heated battle rages on. Kind of shocked what that he didn't uh, do what I thought he was going to do. A psychic blast! A savage hit! And it's down! What will the next Pokemon be? for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that? Body slam! Yeah, it's a hit! I'm gonna be oh. honest. Um, one thing about Taurus's design, every time I look at it, Which Pokemon it hurts my back. <laughs> like, I can only imagine what that spine looks like. Oh, it's dark. The Pokemon are in different types. Oh, he's faster. What will it do? Heart flow. Be really nice if you gave me the paralysis right now. What now? Powerful strike. It's a head-on collision. Power versus power. He's down. Severe hit. Oh, is it down and out? There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Slowbro. It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth battle continues. What's that? Not too entirely surprised that he has Thunderbolt. What'll it do? Oops, it's paralyzed. Neither one is completing an inch. What now? He lived. Are you kidding me? Game. What's this? Sparks are flying in this heated match. This is probably gonna be a victory for him. It's taking a quick rest. What's that? That's the weak spot. The intense battle continues. It's fast asleep. What will it do? It's doubly effective! What a furious battle! I'm not gonna be able to use Amnesia without getting killed. Strike fighting poses. It woke up! I'm waiting for the crit. Thunderbolt! Super effective! Both Pokemon are I can say is that uh, hopefully I can make him run out of Thunderbolt. It's taking a quick rest. Oh, that helps. And hurts block. at the same time. The heated battle rages on. It's fast asleep. Oh, that definitely helps out a lot. Fireworks are flying in 
this battle. Oh, I saw that late then. It woke up. What now? Perfect day. Neither one is conceding an inch. It pumped up its special rating. What's this? And it's a crit, and it killed me. It goes down after a short fight. And there goes the battle. Super annoying. We didn't even make it to the gym leader this time. Holy hell. Okie doke. Here comes the first opponent. An easy victory should be within reach. Come one side. Ah! Wow! That's an effective hit! It's getting pumped up! Fireworks are flying in this battle! A psychic flash! Perfect game! Oh! Is it down and out? And there goes the battle! So Alakazam and Rhyhorn? Alright, we'll try that. Here's the second adversary. The challenger needs to stay calm to of earn course. Didn't he try to explode last time? 
Oh, this time he doesn't explode. And it's a crit, so I'm down. I thought he was just gonna explode like last time. That's why I didn't bother switching out. I gotta wait, yeah. And there's the explode. Now he explodes. He's gonna win because he's faster. Both Pokemon have taken heavy death. Also, in my head, the uh, reading the perfect was, I guess, since I was already thinking, like, oh, he's gonna just use explosion again. And then I saw your perfect, so I was like, oh, I guess that we're thinking the same thing, but we clearly weren't. You jinxed it. Oh, no, it's umk. There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down to the wire. A psychic blast! Classic game! Savage attack! Heavy damage! It's a head-on collision. Power versus power. Yeah, we definitely got the kin all right. <laughs> when asterisk. And there goes the battle. I stretched and I dropped my controller. last time Okay, for the next couple of fights, let's try to discuss things. Unfortunately, it may be slow with lag and all, but hopefully we can win. This is that there's a delay from what I'm doing and what you see. I don't know if it's so much lag so much as it is uh, just the reality of streaming, I guess.
By the way, this is a fire type gym, and I don't think I've seen a single fire type. Slow ala Tauros in any order is the gold dots. I mean Possibly. That Magneton comes out is gonna do a whole lot of hurt. Actually, come to think of it. I think every single one of those Pokemon can potentially know Thunderbolt. Obviously, uh, Magneton's gonna have it, and Starmie, we already know, has it. I mean, we can try that, yeah. Tauros lead. So, Tauros, Alakazam, and Slowbro. Gym leader is waiting right after this. Brought up the HDMI thing. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the body slams. Here we go. They go into battle post. Thankfully, they don't have steel typing yet. Oh, now you give me the paralysis. Thanks. Oh, my brain went with the stab versus the super effective. Listen, I'm so used to t you telling me body till it drops that my brain automatically went to body till it drops. Special stat went down. What now? There, it's a hit. So who do you think should come out next? Because clearly uh, Tauros is going down. What'll it do? Pokemon will be fighting next. The combatants face each other. Oh, it's Alakazam! We're evenly matched at two Pokemon aside. Neither Pokemon is backing down. What's next? And the weak spot. Wow, it did very little damage even with the crit. I'm going to assume, yeah, that that's the plan. Neither one is succeeding an eight. What's this? Oh man, I went up two stages and I brought it down one. And I went up two more stages. It's concentrating on its status. What a furious battle. Now. Really use a crit psychic. What now? Oh my god, are you serious? I like how when it doesn't matter, it does the stat drop. Should I recover or should I do another psychic? I feel like an I don't know. I don't know if another psychic might take it down or not. Down. 
The trainer hasn't issued an order. What's the matter, trainer? Well, let's hope for a uh, for a crit the psychic. Are issued. What'll it do? Nope. It didn't do much damage. It didn't happen because that would have let me win. Try that, sir. We can't let Damn player it, one it. have the chance to win. Wow. My sound is off. Like it's not synced with the game, or what? There's only let me do a monitor check then. Reserve. Oh my god! What the heck? Let's do this. This is intentional. What's the matter, trainer? Let me see. And that's a little better, I guess. Is that better? Hasn't issued an order. What's the matter, trainer? Oh, it's slow, bro. <laughs> it's I feel like I should, uh, two now. just the psychic, honestly. Oh my god, we're exactly alike. <laughs> Excuse me. We both have 192 HP. I can probably assume he's built exactly like me. They're staring each other down. Issued an order. Question is which one of us is faster? And of course he's faster. What next? The attack wasn't effective. A psychic flash! Oh! A light tap decided the outcome! We're down to one Pokemon aside. And should I try to Thunder Wave Amnesia or Thunder Wave Rest? Oh, Never mind, we lost. That was a stupid question, my bad. We lost. Like, I almost feel like just quitting because uh, we lost. They go into battle poses. What's this? What now? I'm gonna have to rest. Oops, it's paralyzed. The intense battle continues. Combatants face each other. It's taking a quick rest. What will it do? Wow! That's an effective hit! I feel like Neither he's doing even more damage than he effect. ever did before there. It's fast asleep! What's that? And it's a crit we lost. And it's down! What's gonna aggravate me, what's already aggravating me, is that this is a fire type gym. And I'm losing to a water type using an electric move. 
Have we even seen a single fire type? Have we seen a single fire type in Blaine's gym so far? Because I don't think we've seen a single fire type. Do I want to swap anyone out before I go in? We can't even make it to Blaine. Here, let's take a look. Not a single fire type. He is a fighting type trainer. With... And he's in a fire type gym with no fire types. Okay, sure, whatever. Here comes the first opponent. An easy victory should be within reach. Here's the first move! A savage hit! It's getting pumped up! The heated battle rages on! What now? Major damage! Oh! Is it down and out? Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's Meryl! The Pokemon are entirely different types. What'll it do? Severe hit! It's getting pumped up! Neither one is succeeding an inch. What's next? Oh! Oh! It's down! There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with him. We're in a fire type gym with no fire types. That, like, I can't get over that. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. I don't care that they can't figure out a way to make type. it more difficult. Like if it's a fire type gym, there should be fire type Pokemon. It's getting pumped up. Sparks are flying in this heated match. Look, look at all the fire type Pokemon he has. Isn't that amazing? Wow, what a team of fire types, let me tell you. How do I like the game? It's great to support you and your Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Also, welcome, uh, Pika Asta. It's great if you're playing it on original hardware and you got a transfer pack and you're playing through Red, Blue, or Yellow because the uh, 
a Game Boy Tower with three times speed works great. If you're doing it on a Nintendo Switch, though, like, you can only use rental Pokemon, you can only get so far, unfortunately. It is indeed a love-hate relationship. They're staring each other down. Yeah, Amnesia is probably the way to go here. I used it. Not that I think I'm gonna survive whatever's coming next. This is a wild one from the word go. Oh, it's Mark. It has to make up for lost ground. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. What would you have me do? Would you want me to do Psychic? Would you want me to Thunder Wave? Would you want me to Rest? I feel like I should each other down. probably Thunder Wave. I'm gonna Rest. If those are my options, I'm gonna try Resting. Never mind, he's just gonna explode again. I still, I still don't see any fire types. Let's see. Oh, good thing I picked Alakazam, because uh, this Gengar is gonna get destroyed. But yeah, if you're playing the game in with like on original hardware, the Gen 1 games, then it's great. You get extra PC storage that you can put stuff in. You can uh, store Pokemon on there, so if you want to restart. One of those games you can. You have the two, three times speed if you unlock the Duel and the Drio Game Boy. So it's it's a great companion game for the original games if that's what you want to do. Look at all those fire types. Jolteon Taros on one of the uh, psychics, maybe. Who is my favorite Pokemon? Hmm. For Gen 1, I'd have to go with my starter. I'd have to go with uh, good old Venusaur. Be uh, gonna start off with a Thunder Wave or a Thunderbolt. To try and get a couple, some paralysis in there, I assume. There's the amnesia. So it begins. We're in a fire type gym, remember that. And there's a water type. We're gonna lose to two water types. What now? So he increased this special and lowered my special. We're off to a great start. Oh, wait, maybe? Okay, he's down. We got lucky. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Alakazam! Look at that other fire type. If I leave Jolteon, he's gonna get wrecked. I swap out the Tauros. 
Oh, you want me to T-wave? Okay, but what about the Starmie? You know he's gonna have Starmie. They're staring each other down. But if you if you think so, I will T-wave him. They go into battle post. Do 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 do. What's that? Oh, he ended up being paralyzed. I made a thunderbolt till I drop. And missile's kind of weak. I feel like I'm better off thunderbolting, honestly. But you also said go with the supers, so I don't know. And it missed. Ooh, that's a man. What now? Major damage. Oh, is it down and out? Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's Tara. How will the type difference affect that? Savage attack! Body slamming Prepare away. I feel like a second body slam will take Level care of two. him. And my special went down again. Oh, I like how, again, calling out the computer here. If it's gonna drop a stat, it's gonna do it. If it's gonna paralyze, it's gonna do it. But if I do it, like it'll ha it'll happen enough that they'll think like, oh, they can't contest it. But uh, I'm gonna contest it. I'm gonna contest it every single time. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Bet that it's our good old friend, Starmie. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. You want me to body again, or do you want me to hyper beam it? Or do you want me to body, see if I survive whatever it does, and then hyper? They're each other down. Let's hope it doesn't fail us. Oh, he's faster. I forgot. What's that? A hit. It, would, it didn't matter what I did. He was faster. Down to one Pokemon aside. Oh, it's Alakazam! Now he's gonna thunderbolt me and There's it's gonna paralyze me. Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down to the one. What's this? The attack wasn't effective. How much does that hurt? I can take two hydro pumps before I have to worry about probably recovering. What now? I'll take the special drop. Oh, it missed. Then I'm going to go ahead and psychic again. What'll it do? That was weak. There it goes. Yeah, it's a hit. Neither one. I'm definitely gonna rip. One more kills. All right, one more kills. What's that? Is it down and out? And there goes the oh, we got through that trainer. Now let's see how many fire types Blaine actually has. I'm gonna go with zero.
And I know the announcer's gonna say something cheeky like, oh, here's Blaine with the fire, like, Desperado or some stupid nonsense like that. Oh, he actually has three fire types and then two grass. That chance he's gonna come out to tank, I feel like. Now, good news is... Gyarados can do a lot of work here, potentially. Actually, I have a lot of Pokemon that can do a lot of work here, I feel like. No, we're going with the tried and true. Tauros, Gyarados, and Alakazam in that order. fears if Charizard comes out first then uh kind of left high and dry no earthquakes gonna help me there do you think Charizard will come out first or should I just go Gyarados you think Gyarados? I think I want to go with Gyarados, just because Gyarados can potentially Hydro Pump three of them and Blizzard the other two. So I feel like Gyarados is a safe starter. And then our tried and true team of three, I guess. Alright, here it goes. A showdown against Blaine, the leader of Cinnabar Gym is a fire Pokemon. Of technician. course. Treat him lightly and you'll get burned. Chansey with a 348. I don't know that I want to leave Gyarados though. I feel like I should save Gyarados for when those other types come out. What do you think? Swap to Tauros and body to the drops. I think that's a safe move, because I think Chansey has pretty, like, terrible defense, I think. I think its biggest stat is probably HP, and then it's like... I know it's a special attacker to an extent. is gonna do a fire attack to prove that he's got a fire attack what do you think cuz I'm not sure if body slam is gonna take it out I don't know if that chance he's gonna have a way to heal either I could always What's body it trainer? and whatever switches in can take it out, but I'm concerned that Chansey will have some way to heal. I'm gonna chance a body slam. body slam. Harsh blow. Close, left it with seven. Be really What's nice that? if you missed. Pokemon 
I'm not gonna chance a hydro pump here. I'm just gonna body slam it. But I called it. I knew that Chansey was coming out. What will the next Pokemon be? And then we have type coverage with Gyarados for everything else. Oh, it's Hydro Pump or Blizzard? I feel like Hydro Pump is the obvious Pokemon answer, but... Blizzard has 90 accuracy versus Hydro Pump's accuracy. Okay, Hydro it is. Oh, he's faster. Oh, it was a crit? He's going down. Trumbump's got like 80% accuracy. I mean, he's flying type. Wouldn't it? Or would it cancel out for the fire? Oh, Magmar's faster. And it's a crit. Even if it lives, oh, of course it lives by two. What a coincidence, I'm gonna body slam you too. Defeated Blaine. Blaine did end up being easy. Super. Now we've got Giovanni. Now I don't know what his crew is gonna look like here, but last time he's got he had a. Uh... Each of one of those trainers had like a legendary type. Like they had an Articuno and a Zapdos, I think. I don't know what's gonna happen this time, but. Seems to be our default team for the moment. Any swaps you'd like to see happen from this uh, selection? see what they got and we can correct if we lose. Love the Persian that's in there. I know I know we're definitely gonna see that Persian come out. And it's gonna know Thunder Wave and Thunderbolt. Bet. Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Body Slam are gonna be its moves. And Hyper Beam. I'm calling it now. Taros, Jolteon, and Alakazam. Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A decisive victory is expected. Here's the first 
I caught a Kangaskhan. I don't know if it has good uh, DVs, but the Pokemon are entirely different types. A uh, Blizzard? Do you think? Do you want me to go for the stab or the super effective? A crit, so we'll never know now. Gone! It's a one hit wonder. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's Golbat. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one sided. Oh, what now? No! I did not bliss, indeed, baby. He never was able to attack again. Oh. Wow, it still wouldn't have been enough to kill him. Like, the battle should just end here. Like... He can't do anything unless I like even if I were to hit him with ever I feel <laughs> I feel like it would just be over. Oh wow, you you really want to be mean, huh? Uh oh, it's confused. Uh oh, it's confused. Oh, it still can't move. Fireworks are flying in this battle. It shook off its confusion. Yeah, it's a hit. And it's down. And there goes the battle. Look at that weird spread of ground type Pokemon. I like how the Fearl's name is Ow Fear. Tongue Licky. Thunderwave or Thunderbolt? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Paralyzes have we gotten with body slams this this time? This is like what my third paralyze from the computer and it was the very first one that I used by the way in this fight Oh, it's 
We have not gotten a single paralysis of body slam tonight, but the computer's gotten like three. Oh, it's Hitmon Chan! It has to make up for lost ground. The Pokemon are entirely different types. That's definitely gonna finish me. There, it's a hit! Wow! Going down! Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's Alakazam! How will the type difference affect that? A psychic blast! It's doubly effective! Gone! It's a one-hit wonder! There's only one Pokémon left in reserve. Oh, it's Sarah! The remaining Pokémon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. What's this? The special stat is down. There it goes! Major damage! <laughs> Both Pokemon have taken heavy damage. But it's Psychic Kid. What'll it do? To be fair, I don't know how hit. one could even write that properly. Put oh, it, you Psychic, I guess, and but it's reading Psych. Looks like it said Psychhead. It's one of those where you just put the apostrophe D, I don't know. Yeah. There's the Zapdos. We got no answer for that Zapdos. So maybe Blizzard out of Gyarados, but if Gyarados goes up against that Zapdos, it's GG. Right, we have zero answer to that Zapdos. Man. <laughs> right on sure looking pretty good right about now. T-Wave right off the bat. Give all the other uh, people an advantage. They go into battle poses. you Thunderwave! Oops, it's paralyzed! It's also got Thunderwave. What's this? Oops, it's paralyzed! They're just Where do we go from here? Just down. Thunderbolt till we drop? Like Thunderbolt till we drop, maybe I don't know. They're this Earth type, this Ground type Pokemon is gonna be real tough to beat. Paralyzed. It's paralyzed on the spot. What now? What a furious battle! What'll it do? And the weak spot! It did over half its health, but only because it was a crit. This is looking real bad. Oh no, he gets a crit. Neither one is conceding an eight. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit! 
What now? There, it's a hit! The heated battle rages on! Right, Thunderbolt! That's a good hit! And it's down! We're waiting for the next Pokémon! Oh, it's Pinsir! It has to make up I think the, the biggest threat ground. is probably down now. The Pokémon are entirely different types! What'll it do? And we're down. Oh, is it down and out? Uh, I'm guessing Tauros is coming out? and Body Slam till we drop. Jolteon did do well. What's that? Good hit. Do 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 do. Oh, of course, it knows toxic. Still waiting for that paralysis game. What now? Powerful strike. Oh, and of course it was a crit. Actually, I didn't see what attack it was. If it was slash, then it should have been a crit. I had a, like, wire that was jammed here, and I was moving it. It was a crit. Oh, it's got psychic. Oh, overkill. Giovanni's next. Let's see how many earth types. I keep saying earth type. How many ground types he has? Look at all those ground types. It's got a whole two of them. The only one I allow in there, as much as I hate to say it, is Persian. Just because, I mean, that's one of his Pokemon. Like, we know he has a Persian. Uh, we'll be right back, though.
Jolteon, Alakazam, and Gyarados. Uh, Jolteon because you think that it's uh, gonna send out Moltres first? Because... Or, well, actually, because Moltres or Persian can come out first, and either one of them would be a really a big annoyance. I just want to understand the logic. I don't necessarily disagree, I just want to understand. I mean, I know Alakazam is awesome. I just wanted to know why Jolteon was the lead. Ooh. Should I swap? Swap the Gyarados. He is likely going to use a ground type move. They go into battle post. Oh, and a rough Pokemon chain. Body slam, first oh, turn paralysis. Here's the first move. I'm gonna assume Hydro Pump. What a furious battle. I don't think it's weak to ice, right? We can get the stab and the two times multiplier. Assuming it connects. And of course it doesn't connect. Oh, and it's got Thunderbolt! GG. And you're swapping out. Opinions, How comments. I don't think I'm faster, but here we go. Nope, and he's got Blizzard. Kazam or Jolteon? I want to say maybe Alakazam. Save Jolteon for the potential Moltres. And then we can T wave and Thunderbolt and pray for the best. They strike fighting poses. Oh, it's Alakazam! It has to make up for lost ground. The Pokémon are entirely different types. What now? A savage hit! Wow! Go! That's a good question. Who's gonna come out next? Which Persian. Persian. So we know that there's no Moltres in here. And Persian's gonna be faster and more annoying than anything we could imagine. Weak spot. 
How will this swap affect the outcome? Thank you, Thunderway! Warden. Warden, we, we lost. We 100% lost. What'll it do? That person is gonna wipe the floor with Alakazam, I feel like. Is it down and out? There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. I don't know what's going on with the capture card. The tenth battle continues. You see? Oh, got a monitor right, hold on. They're staring each other down. Oops. Reflect and then Psychic. Oh, but that's not gonna help because it's a crit. Crits, I don't think, get blocked by that. Oh, I lost. I picked Psychic by accident. Although I think I was gonna die regardless anyway. Special stat went down. Yeah, we lost. I don't think Reflect works against Critic. I think that I think Crits go through all of that. I think we would have been better off just using Psychic. I think that's how it works. Yep, I was right. The effect of Reflect is ignored by self-inflicted confusion damage and critical hits. So... <laughs> Any adjustments to the team? Who should we replace for Rai then? I'm guessing Executor. We didn't touch Executor at all. Taurus by himself. <laughs> Many Persians. They strike fighting poses. Oh, toxic! The move fails. What will the other side do? Major damage. Neither one is conceding an inch. What's this? 
it opted to slowly damage the opponent. That's fair. What's that? If we can Fire. get through the the eight gym leaders, and we can always do the uh, <clears throat> we can always do like the elite four, which I'm sure the elite four and the uh, rival battle, which I'm sure are gonna be super annoying. But first, we gotta get through this. I thought you were gonna try to stay up uh, late for this, though. What will the next Pokemon be? Or you just lack energy? I know you had a super long day yesterday. How will the type difference affect that? Whoa! No, this Pokemon looks wrong. Oh. The first time we took it down was because it was a crit. What now? And the weak spot. Sparks are flying in this heated match. What's this? Watch the weak spot. Oh, hit down. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokémon. Oh, it's Golbat! The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. Wow! A savage hit! We're waiting for the next Pokemon. Oh, it's Alakazam! The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The combatants are making sparks fly. Oh, here's hoping. A psychic flash! Wow, that's an effective hit! And it's down! And there goes the battle. I forgot what we use for this fight. I know we used Alakazam. Do we lead with Tauros? Or did we lead with Jolteon? I felt like we had Jolteon, Alakazam, and Tauros. Yeah, I was thinking Thunder Wave and Swap. Question is, who should I swap to? Taros? They're staring each other down. Yes. 
The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Tom! What now? I was thinking. Should I teach Thunder Wave to Alakazam? I'm sure it can learn it. Get rid of Psy Wave, maybe? We'll have less attacks, but we'll have the potential to paralyze. Oh, look! I finally got a paralysis. And I just realized I did an earthquake. I want you to know you've ingrained in my brain to a very strong degree, like, body till you drop. <laughs> To the point where, like, I subconsciously keep picking bodies. <laughs> what Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Hitmonchan! It has to make up for lost ground. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Should I swap to Alakazam, or should I just keep going with, uh, Tauros? something funny about watching a Hitmonchan do some mega kick. Also, that did a lot more damage than I was gonna willing to give it credit for. It is 120, you're right. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Kabuta! The remaining Pokemon stock is 2 to 1. The 10th battle continues. What's that? Just got really terrible accuracy. comes the zappy dose guy what did we have i think that time we had jolteon and gyarados for sure i just don't remember who the third was i feel like it was jolteon and gyarados i don't know am i thinking of something else Alakazam for the third slot. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Oh, we're gonna thunder wave each other and then thunderbolt till I drop, I think was what I did last time. The commands are issued. Thank you, thunder wave! What's this? Oop, it's paralyzed. They're both being cautious here. They 
go into battle post. Paralyzed. Uh... It's paralyzed on the spot. What will it do? There, it's a hit. Neither one is conceiving an inch. Yep, just like last time. What now? That's a good hit. It's paralyzed on the spot. The heated battle rages on. Paralyzed. The, the second I see how the camera swings over to Jolteon, I know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, it's a hit! What a furious battle! The combatants face each other. What's this? Damn the weak spot! What will it do? The attack wasn't effective! Sparks are flying in this heated match. Right, the big threat's gonna be down now. I guess I'll try to thunder wave whatever comes out next and pray from that point on. What Pokemon will be fighting next? Oh, it's Clefable! It has to make up for lost ground. How will the type difference affect that? What now? A decent hit! Oh, and we're paralyzed. Fantastic. Paralyzed on the spot. The intense battle like how, how often I get paralyzed. But I, I've been paralyzed three different times this match. And then Zapdos was only paralyzed once. Please. Please tell me that this game doesn't cheat. Which Pokemon is coming out? Who should come out? Alexandra Gyarados. I feel like Alakazam, right? They strike fighting poses. Oh, it's Alakazam! The Pokemon are entirely different types. Is the audio desynced again? You can't hear audio from the game? Let me see. Oh. I was monitoring it because I feel like something's up. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. I went ahead and unplugged the capture card because I feel like it's desyncing a little bit too much tonight.
Maybe it needs to be reconnected. I know I replaced one cable today. Or rather, I removed an, a, like, an extra thing in the middle of the chain that wasn't necessary. But it shouldn't have affected anything. If anything, it should have made it better. Alrighty. Alright. So what's the game plan? Because I feel like there's definitely going to be a Persian. Last time it was Persian and Nidal Queen. I think maybe they're the Taro. I don't remember what came out. If Rhydon comes out, Rhydon can deal with the Persian and the Moltres, I feel like. Everything else is going to wipe the floor with it, because... Needle King's gonna Earthquake, Gengar's gonna Earthquake, Needle Queen's gonna Earthquake. Byhorn, Jolteon, Tauros, and Gyarados, maybe. The only bad thing is that right on a work. If there's Moltres and Persian. Then who would we use? We don't use Jolteon. Throw Alakazam in there maybe. Alakazam, Tauros, and Rhydon. Rhyhorn, Tauros, and Gyarados. I'm scared to lead with Rhydon. Only because if it's anything other than the Persian or the Moltres, he's dead. But I feel like Needle King and Needle Queen are going to be faster than it. That's my only real fear with leading with uh, Rhydon. If it's Persian or Moltres, it's going to go well for us. But if it's anything else, he's pretty screwed. Because an earthquake from any one of them is probably going to take him down. I personally think Rhydon can take most of them, but that's what Gara is for. Swap if you suspect Earthquake. Okay. So then, final consensus is Rhydon, Taros, and Gara. Rhydon, Taros. Now I'm paranoid. Rhydon, Taros, Gyarados. lead I mean if it's anything else we could probably swap to the Gyarados like you said wait didn't the one of them new Thunderbolt wasn't that the case and Gyarados got like mollywop because of it The Needle Queen? I know one of I felt like one of them had Thunderbolt. Alright, so So I lost it in the chat, where was it?
I don't know what I want, because honestly, I feel like I'm a pessimist when it comes to this. Right on Taros and Gyarados. I guess we can roll out with that. Okay, Taros, Tar, and maybe Rai. But if more than one of them knows Thunderbolt, then why would we go with Charizard? Just because he can tank the Thunderbolt a little better? I would imagine is the logic. Charizard has 130 special versus 148 special. Faster, Charizard has 143, Gyarados has 125. And we're just talking about the two of them. Speed 143, speed 125. Had a bad connection? Well, welcome back. We're just discussing uh, strategies here. So yeah, Charizard would be faster. Got access to Earthquake with attack 126. Not sure if I said this, but my name is Pika Asta. It's nice to meet you. I am a Twitch streamer affiliate. I play Pokemon games and variety of games. Oh, nice. Welcome. I have the long-term goal of potentially beating all of the Pokemon games. If I'm able to. Catching all of them. And then hopefully eventually migrating them over to PokeBank in some way, shape, or form. Tauros for sure and pick two others. Oh, don't put the pressure on me. You're the master. <laughs> nice. What time zone do you live in? In case I want to raid you and support. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I'm a uh, Eastern time zone over here. Oh, my controller desync tone on. Hey, thanks for following. Definitely. Let me go repair this controller real quick. One bad thing about the blue retro receiver is that occasionally it does desync. You know, I was thinking that if the Asta was from Black Clover. up yep <laughs> uh, I'm looking at your profile now and I see the uh, the Asta on there oh my god is Pikachu is, is your profile Pikachu dressed up as Asta
That's pretty cool. When worlds collide. Okay, Clover. So you're saying, uh... See? Crossover of Black Clover X Pokemon. I want to rewatch Black Clover. We're getting distracted a little bit. The movie's coming out, mobile game coming out in July. Oh man, I'm falling behind. But I can say I'm 100% caught up on One Piece. Anywho. Taros and go random and pray. I don't... <laughs> Alright, so we got Taros. Okay. Taros for sure. Rhydon we're gonna need because uh, Moltres and potentially Persian. And I don't know who the third should be. Random? I don't want to pick random. There's a one time I don't like to pick random. Gengar is part poison type. We got three poison types on there, so maybe Alakazam? Oh. First time chat, Fat Mouse Gaming it says Alakazam. Alright, so I guess the team is gonna be leading with Tauros, going on with Rhydon, and Alakazam. My god, my stomach is turning. Let's go! Giovanni! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Tarles versus Tarles? Body till you drop? Alright, body till I drop. Who's gonna be faster, though? Hey, my Tauros is faster. Way to go, good DVs and EV training. Or, swap. Are these rentals? No, this is, uh, this is my, uh, Pokemon Yellow one. I'm playing on original hardware. Neither one is yeah, I don't I don't get the super nice resolutions from the switch version you could you could kind of tell from the slowdown and some of the the pixely stuff that I'm playing on original hardware They're bearing each other down. Should I uh, continue with Tarles or do you think I should swap to ride on or should I save ride on in case of uh, Persian and uh, the trainer has Moltres come out order. I agree. I agree the OG hardware is better. I've got the uh, Pixel the FX uh, uh, board installed onto the Sen64, so I'm outputting 1080p. And I'm using a blue retro adapter with the Nintendo Switch online controller so I can uh, not have a giant wire going across the room. What's the matter, trainer? Oh. Body till you drop and then a hyper beam. The trainer hasn't issued an hmm. order. Yeah, the trainer hasn't issued an order. He's t he's talking to to the squad right now, seeing uh what's the best what's option the matter, here. Trainer? Screw it, hyper. Okay, hyper. I, I got two votes for hyper beam. Oh, 
Oh, it missed. Fireworks are flying in this battle. It can't make a move. What's that? A decent hit. I think we could safely body and take it down, right? Body, baby. Alright, we got one Pokemon down. Still anticipating that Persian and uh, Moltres. For sure, Persian. Yep, there's the Persian. Tauros held Tauros that Tauros. I don't know that I'm gonna survive. And it's definitely gonna be faster than me. Down. Sack hyper beam next mon. All right. What will it do? Nail the weak spot. And there it goes. Wow. All right, but at least he took someone yeah. down. We're waiting for the next Pokemon. I'm gonna guess right on's the best move to come in on now. Oh, you know what? Put five dollars down. He's gonna have a. Uh, he's gonna have bubble beam. They go into battle poses. Oh, it's right up. My my stomach was just like bubble beam. How will the type difference affect? Oh, he that? will. Yeah, he will. All right, I'm gonna go for the earthquake. I got two stab moves, but I want to go for the Earthquake. Oh, he's swapping out. Why is he swapping out? It's going to swap out to Moltres. No, Nido King. Oh, this is going to be a free hit. I don't know that it's going to take it down, but... Of course, by what? 2 HP! I'm gonna body slam it. They're staring each other down. You want me to swap to Alakazam right now? Why do you want me to swap to Alakazam? Just curious. Trainer hasn't issued an order. I mean, he's gonna be faster. Easy one, don't swap. Let's have a convo. <laughs> Alright. What's the matter, trainer? He's low enough that. I mean, Stomper Body Slam can take care of it. The trainer has I just realized you know Stomp. That, that move needs to go. But anyway. Needle What's might get a trainer? crit and wipe right on. The trainer hasn't yeah, we definitely don't order. want... Oh. What's the matter, trainer? Ala's gonna get broke by Persian. I think Ryan needs all his health for Persian. True. Persian is the, the scary thing right now. At least we know that there's no Moltres and all that. Now the, the threat is definitely the Persian. What's the matter, trainer? But is Rhydon faster than Nidoking? King? Good question. Let's find out. The trainer hasn't issued all right. order. Rhydon's got a base speed of 40. What's the matter, trainer? 
Edo King has a base speed of 85. Yeah, it's definitely faster. The trainer hasn't issued an order. All right, so I'll swap over to Alakazam. What's the matter, trainer? You know what? Would he have used Horn Drill? Was that his plan to use Horn Drill? No, to use Surf. I, the move was definitely to swap out because he would have gone first, and that Surf would have that Surf would have messed him up. All right, it's look, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yep. We're down to the last Pokemon. Oh. We're not using Reflect this time, because... <laughs> crits go past the Reflect, and it's just going to use Slash over and over again. No fancy stuff, Psychic Forever. I would have to agree with that. Psychic, get a couple licks in. At least one lick in. They're staring each other down. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go with the psychics. Oh, we're faster. I did not expect this to be faster. What now? Hit the weak spot. He got wiped by one slash. We're down to one Pokemon aside. We're down to the last Pokemon. There's just one Pokemon aside. Now I'm gonna guess we're gonna earthquake the till. Coming right down to the wire. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty abysmal. It is definitely a glass cannon. This is Gen 1. Alright, so... I'm gonna Earthquake till the end of the match, unless uh, there are any objections. What's the matter, trainer? I'm talking to the squad, shh, announcer. Bubble beam! We lost. It was super effective and a crit. We lost. I knew it was gonna have bubble beam. I knew it was gonna have bubble beam. And on top of that, it was a crit. Welcome to Pokemon Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Where when you need the crit, it doesn't happen, but when the computer needs the crit, it always happens. But I already know this game cheats. Cheating sack of monkey. Monkey, no, donkey, mucus. I almost said monkey ducus. So, Rhydon can't help us against the Persian, so do we want to swap him out for something else I might have? We didn't use Charizard either. Uh, let's potentially swap out right on. This is part of the team. Ignore him. I was <laughs> I was using this Bell Sprout with Cut to get to a uh, to a location for a trade, but my. Teams are here right now. 
Can't use Dragonite because it's 55 and it's gonna bump everything up to 55. Maybe the Slowbro? Slowbro might help. I do have a Slowbro. Psychic Amnesia, Thunder Wave, and Rest. I don't know if my Snorlax has any good moves yet. Let's double check. It's got Body Slam, Double Edge, Rest, and Earthquake. Say swap Charizard for Snorlax. All right, we'll bring Snorlax into the fray. I still want to swap the Rhydon. It's basically between these two boxes. You have a slow bro. And Rife or Slowbro, in my opinion. Alright. I don't think I have any fighting types right now. I mean, I have a Polyrath, but it doesn't have any fighting moves in it yet. I don't think I have anyone with a fighting type move. Other than Jolteon's little double kick, but that's whatever. So I think it's gonna have to be what I have right now. Yeah, I don't have a good fighting right now. Yeah, I haven't leveled up that Mew yet. I don't even know if its DVs are good. Check its DVs real quick. Instead of using the Nugget Bridge trick for this one. Good old Pyco Sites. I mean, I could always level it up across the week. It's level 7. We've got 32. 20, 20, 21, 20. It's between 8 and 4. The only really good DV it has right now is uh, speed. Everything else is 8 to 14, so I have no idea where this Mew is going to land later on. Cut me some slack. I am, uh, I'm still on Cinnabar Island with like 147 caught Pokemon. I still need to get, uh, Electabuzz from Official One Piece Slayer. Still need a Zapdos, a Moltres, and Mewtwo, and then that'll wrap up the Pokedex. Alright, Autobots, let's roll out. So this is the team. Let's see if, uh, the new squad will be able to help. There's always a freaking Persian. Uh, always have a brain fart. What the heck did we pick? It was it Gyarados, wasn't it? No. No, you keep joking saying Tauros only. <laughs> That's right. you drop baby
I don't know what that Kangaskhan's animation was, but okay. Yep. What's that? Good hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. What'll it do? Boom! You might actually finish me off. What now? A decent hit. Both Pokemon are exhausted. the Battle of the Safari Zone. Body slam! Yeah, it's a hit! And it's down! Which Let's see if the Kangaskhan I have has good uh, DVs, and if it does, I should level it. Oh, it's Golbat! It has to make up for lost ground. Yeah, that's what I was gonna the do. Pokemon are entirely different types. Whoa! And it was a crit. Down. That didn't take him out. But whatever's coming next is taking him down. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Dodrio! The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. It can't make a move. Drill pack. That's a good hit. It's finally taken down. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Gyarados. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. Combatants are making sparks fly. Oh, it's faster. What Shouldn't be too surprised it is a Dodrio. No, it is! Lizard! It's doubly affected! Oof. Sparks are flying in this heated match! Oh, and no Cyper Beam. One trainer down. And there goes the battle! All right, lab man. Taros, Alakazam, and... Jolteon, maybe? How will the gym's second opponent conduct battle? We'll need a strong effort to win! Perfect. Oh, 
with Pitmon Chow. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. It's you, Thunderwave. Oop, it's paralyzed. There's the attack. Oop, that's a miss. The heated battle rages on. What's that? A savage hit! It's oh my god. Jolteon got an absolute oh, clean sweep. In this battle. Oh, thunderbolt! That's a good hit! Wow! Going down! Cool trainer. Jolteon, Alakazam, and Tauros, probably. The two times that we've run this through already, he has sent out, uh... Jol not Jolteon, uh, Zapdos first every single time. And, yeah, we can almost expect to see Zapdos first every time. Thunder wave each other. gonna use switch oh no it's, it's paralyzed, paralyzed on the spot. The heated battle rages on what'll it do? There it's a hit paralyzed it again. Can't make a move. Neither one is conceding an inch. What now? That's a good hit! What's that? A decent hit! One still raring to go, but the opponent appears beat! Oh, thunderbolt! Yeah, it's a hit! Pokemon is coming out. Oh, it's Pentacle. What? The Pokemon are entirely different types. Oh, it's faster. What's this? A minor hit. It can't make a move. I should Fire probably fight. swap out the Alakazam, I feel like. Yeah, you're right, I am paralyzed. I completely, like... <laughs> uh, swap to Alakazam, I feel like, right? I mean, Tarles can Earthquake it too, but I feel like Alakazam's probably the better choice. The trainer hasn't issued an order. I mean, I'm never gonna be able to attack, he's just gonna wrap me until I die. That's why I asked. Trainer? Unless I get lucky and one of the raps miss. But this is the computer, so it's gonna do it for like four or five turns every single time. The trainer hasn't issued an order. What's the matter, trainer? What? 
the trainer hasn't issued an order. I issued an order. Calm down. Here's a Pokemon do, 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 do. Oh, it's Alakazam! How will the SWAT Pokemon fight? And swapping out cancels the uh, the rap. Super effective and a crit. Gone! It's a one-hit wonder. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's Omastar. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. What'll it do? That is that. It's gonna take three hits to KO it. Savage attack. Good hit. Both Pokemon look ready for more. What now? Special stat is that. Oh, of course. <laughs> What's that? Boom! What a furious battle! Alright, let's fight. start talking strats for the next fight. Yeah, it's a hit! Oh! Is it down and out? And there goes the battle! So far we know that Persian is always going to come out, it's always going to have Slash, it's always going to have Bubble Beam. And no Thunderbolt. <laughs> I decided to just look it up on uh, Serebi. That Persian knows Screech, Slash, Thunderbolt, and Bubble Beam. The Needle King knows Thunder. The Tauros knows Thunder. The Gengar knows Explosion. That's the threat there. Needle Arena knows Thunderbolts. And the Moltres only has Fire Spin and Toxic as the really deadly stuff. Slow roll Taros and Ala, pick whatever lead. Was that taking into consideration everything I just told you? Slow bro Taros, Alakazam. No, I wrote that before you said that. Yeah, apparently that's what his team's got in round two. So everything has a check on water. Except for Gengar and Moltres. But Gengar can explode. Moltres is just... Moltres. Fire spin, Toxic Fly, and Double Edge. The Needle King knows Thrash, Thunder, Surf, and Earthquake. The Tauros knows Thunder, Blizzard, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. So he's just nothing but coverage. Which is weird, considering that he's a physical attacker. Maybe Snorlax instead of Slowbro? I 
guys, so uh, like... Last time he led with Tauros. Like Tauros, Snorlax, and Alakazam, maybe? You want me to lead with Snorlax? Curious why why you think the Snorlax should lead? Either one is fine. Gunna? Do the same thing? Now you've completely confused me. Gonna do the same thing? So, like, what? So, Tauros, Alakazam, and... Or rather, Tauros, Snorlax, and Alakazam? I don't know. Oh, Body Earthquake. Oh, the, we're gonna lead with Tauros and do the same thing. Got it. So, Taro, Snorlax, and Alakazam, yes? As good as any, as any, ah, as good as any, I guess. Oh, here it goes. Giovanni. Giovanni. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm earthquaking here, right? Oh, Needle King is small. Super effective and a crit, he's definitely going down. Well, that's a good start. There's been major action already. There it is. So what's the game plan? The remaining Pokemon count is three to two. This battle is still up in the air. What's this? Thrill that we spot. What now? A savage hit. What? Body slam again, or do you want me to hyper beam? Looking good so far. Taurus is probably gonna go down in the next one. In the next turn. Oh, it's Gengar! Gengar. He's got Hypnosis, Dream Eater, Nightshade, and Explosion. He's not gonna use Explosion because that would automatically result in him losing. Nightshade's always gonna do 50 damage. And then, uh, guessing the Alakazam be? and Psychic till it drops, because I don't think Snorlax would be a good fit here. I feel like it's common sense to bring out Alakazam, but I just don't know anymore. The trainer hasn't issued an 
in order. He's got hypnosis, though. They strike fighting poses. Oh, it's Snorlax! The remaining Pokemon stock mm. is two to one. The combatants are making spark fly. What's that? Surprised he didn't use hypnosis. He's only using Nightshade and not Hypnosis and trying to Dream Eater. There, it's a hit. Or maybe he's assuming I would just rest or something. I don't know. It took three tries, but we beat him. Stage clear. Look at that sleepy boy. And now the annoying part begins next time on the stream, because I think I'm pretty, pretty done for the night. Once you built that Tauros, this became much easier. Yeah. We are not doing the Elite Four right now. That is uh, too painful. At least they actually use their typings. Looking at what the teams are. Wait, that's round one. I'm being silly. Round two, Lorelei's team has a Wigglytuff, Starmie, Cloyster, Omastar, Executor, and Articuno. There's at least three Pokemon that shouldn't be there. Bruno has only two fighting types. Agatha has... Agatha ghost or poison? I feel like she's supposed to be ghost. But, uh, if we're talking poison, she has a Venusaur, and Arbok, and a Gengar. <laughs> and then two Pokemon, one Pokemon that should be on Lorelei's team. Lance has... Not a single dragon type. He has a Charizard, though. Fantastic. And what's the rival gonna have? I don't know, should I level up that Mew? Yeah, you stayed up way longer than uh, you probably should have. Maybe I'll level up the Mew, I don't know. Just in case. Alright, anyway, this has been a very productive stream. We ended up beating. Another three gym leaders, and we're on our way to the Elite Four for the next stream. And I'll see if I uh, mix up any more Pokemon and uh, level up stuff. Probably going to want to do a Persian just because of how busted they are from what I keep seeing. So maybe that'll that'll be an option to look into. Slash Bubble Beam Thunderbolt Persian. Anywho. I think this is a good place to stop for now. Let's get rid of it. Let's go away from all the, the creepy music. We're almost, we're almost done with Pokemon Yellow. I'll also be done with Pokemon Blue since I'm playing two copies. I'm just streaming Yellow until I get a lot of the stuff that I need because of Blue. Um, so yeah, guys, we did pretty well, I think. We uh, did another three gym leaders. And eventually, we can start working towards the last of the stadium stuff. We've got quite a journey ahead of us. So I think this is where I'm going to call it quits for the night. I want to give a shout out to all the people that bounced in to watch the stream. Right, we've had Fat Mouse underscore gaming. We had official One Piece Slayer. We had uh, Pika Asta. Right, so it was a pretty good, it's a pretty good stream. A couple new faces popped up, so that was kind of nice. Uh, guess it's time to uh, plug my socials. So for any of you still in here in the chat. Right, 
you want to go ahead and know when I'm going to stream, go ahead and give me a follow over at twitter.com slash Lee Mustang. I usually post on there right before I'm about to stream. And if you want to see what I'm adding to my game collection over time, go ahead and give me a follow over at instagram.com slash Lee dot Mustang. I actually picked up a bunch of Japanese Pokemon games that I'm kind of happy about. Got a pretty much all of the original game, but with, with the exception of, I think, uh, trading card game two, picked up all of them in Japanese just so I can have them. I thought that was pretty cool. It was fairly cheap too. So it's not like it cost me an arm and leg or anything. And yeah, Instagram.com slash Mustang if you want to see what I'm adding to my game collection over time. And of course, if you want to catch all of the prior parts to all of this, all of the rage, all of the sadness, all of the pain and misery I've been going through playing this game, go ahead and give me a follow over at YouTube.com slash Mustang, where you can catch a bunch of my old VODs, some old Let's Plays, you can catch some of my uh, product reviews that I've done. Should I really want to get back into that. So uh, go ahead and give me a follow on there. I should have plenty of time coming up in the next few weeks to just be able to do all of that fun stuff and hopefully keep pushing forth through on my Pokemon games. And of course, if you're watching this over at youtube.com slash Lee Mustang, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Click the little bell icon to be in the know. And I, of course, will see you guys on the next part. Until then, guys, take care.